Hello. Welcome to Mystic Moons, Cancers. How are you? Cancers, let's go and see a message for you. It's coming up. Hierophant. Here, Fawn is clarified by a Seven of Wands. Turning into determined and a little stubborn energy here. I'm curious about this Two of Pentacles. Do I have a love reading for you? She's called it love readings with cancer. <laughs> um, Well, somebody is going to end a stalemate and come forward. They decided to move forward. Despite pain, they're going to try and heal a connection, make an offer. They're determined to do so. Results is like very results, stubborn energy right here. Seven of Wands and Two of Swords are stubborn. Together with Hierophant. Being resolute in their beliefs to do a certain action here is coming forward and engaging. Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles with Lovers. Someone wants to engage you. Going to come forward for a meeting. They have learned some things. Is it possible to set up family? Shop? It's a past person. Quiet, little cat. third day in a row I've gotten the same message. Well, third time. Not quite the third day. You know, Cancers, I used to do these readings daily and then I realized that you know, sometimes I would focus on just the primary message and there would be like small messages. Messages about work. Some would be about love. You know, there really were messages on the short, short term because they were daily but then, for the collective readings, I started getting a lot of repeats. Stubborn energy, stubborn messages that were working their way through. How to go through this really quickly. Like I said with the Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands is stubborn. They're going to... The situation of stalemate is over. Someone's going to come forward to engage. A connection. They're going to facilitate a meeting. Under... to get my cards. Under uh, Two of Swords, we have all the twos, I think. Two of Cups, Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, 
We don't have two of wands. Well, I'm sure if I continue to pull, I get it. Anyway, yeah, it's a partnership reaching out. Someone's going to heal, try and heal a broken connection. It's, you know, the decision they've come to. Stubborn energy, as I said before. Resolute energy, they've decided to do so. Judgment. This person is going to come forward to see the possibility of a family connection. Final energy here. Two of pentacles clarify with a three of pentacles with a lover someone wants to go and I'll explore the whole thing of family six of cups clarified by seven of cups you know lots of thoughts this past person in their memories of you isn't at all stagnant it's like they see so much potential of what they could do with you or around you. I do have really strong Capricorn. I do have strong Gemini. I do have strong Aquarius. I do have strong Scorpio. I do have Taurus. I do have Gemini. I already said Gemini. I have some Sagittarius. I have some Aquarius. I have some Virgo. And I have some Libra. strongest energies I would say strong Libra Aquarius strong air signs strongest air signs followed by some Capricorn. Taurus, although we have a major arcana appearance, doesn't really feel that, that strong. It's like Gemini doesn't really feel that strong, but the air signs in general. Anyway. Mm, yeah. Let's do... for cancer. Is that really it? Nine of Swords. Yeah, Cancers, you have, you have just love right now, primarily in your energy. Cancer is just upcoming. There's going to be some decisions that you're going to have to go and make. You know, Kansas, I think the reason, too, why this comes up so many times or that these themes, in addition to other themes, is that it could be the next love connection that you find or that you get involved with. 
could be that they involve you on a much deeper level than you've ever been before. You know, maybe this person will become family and regardless how that connection evolves, you're going to have a, a lifelong connection to them where maybe you'd see them regularly. I don't know. But it's something that... I mean, this is very enduring energy right here. It's almost like pick and choose who you open yourself up to very carefully. You know, it's more than just affecting your heart space. It's like this person... The next person could become part of your life in a more present manner than perhaps what you would care to. I do think you have options in general coming up generating of who you could go and have as a life partner, Cancer. Part of those options that are coming up is some person who is kind of funky. This kind of funky person. Does have soulmate energy with you and is planning on trying for a new start. World clarified by Queen of Swords. You know, the connection isn't over and because there was a love connection here and because that connection does have these overtones of fate, soulmate, twin flame, whatever you want to call them. This person can't let go and is preparing in a, like almost a circular manner to get more and more determined to come forward. So regardless of whether it's this person that you're dealing with or new people, I do feel that the next connection you get involved with will be um, very long lasting. So you want to make sure that you have people who are in your presence who are the best for you. Ultimately, I think that's why we keep on getting these messages, Cancer. Because maybe when that person comes back, you need to take a really hard look. And regardless, if it's a past person or a new person that you get involved with, take a really hard look because that person could very well persist in your life in some way. Anyway, that's the message I have for you a little bit more. Till the next reading, Cancers. Bye-bye.